Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to set up a dual boot operating system. My primary OS is Windows 11, and the second one will be Prime OS. Prime OS is an operating system that lets you install and run all your favorite Android apps and games in a straightforward way. You can use it just like a complete desktop operating system, but with Android's flexibility. In this tutorial, I'll show you step-by-step step how to set up dual boot with Windows 11 and Prime OS. As you can see, Windows 11 is already installed on my system. Now, we'll proceed with installing Prime OS. To install Prime OS, we'll first need the Prime OS installation file. Open your browser, and in search bar type Prime OS and press enter, you will see lots of results. Open the first website, primeos.in. Once you open the website, you'll see its main interface. The first option available will be device. Click on it and choose the x86 option. After that, move to the version section where you'll find a list of all available Prime OS versions. If your system has lower specifications, you can choose the classic or standard version. For a mid-range system, Android Classic and Standard works well, while high-end systems can run the latest Android 11 version. In my case, I'll go with Android 11 latest version because I've tested Android 11 and it is working fine on my system you can select whichever version suits your system best. Once you've selected the version, go to the type option and choose the .iso file format. Then click on download now button. A short five second countdown will appear and the download will start automatically. The file size is about 1.6 gigabytes, so it, it will take some time. We'll also need a tool to create a bootable USB from the Android ISO we're downloading. For this, we'll use the Rufus application. It's a highly reliable and safe tool that works smoothly with all types of USB drives. Let's download it from its official website. Once the Android ISO and Rufus tool have finished downloading, open your downloads folder and first launch the Rufus application. You'll see the Rufus interface on your screen. Now, insert your USB storage drive, ensuring it has at least 8 gigabytes of free space. I've already tested Prime OS and have a bootable USB drive ready, and for this reason it is showing Prime OS label in device section. Then, we'll select our ISO file and choose the Prime OS ISO we downloaded earlier. Now, in the partition scheme section, you need to confirm your system's partition type. I'll show you how to check your system partition scheme. First, open the Windows search bar and type CMD. Right-click on Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. In the Command Prompt window, type Disk Part and press Enter. Once the Disk Part tool opens, type List Disk and hit Enter again. You'll now see a list of all connected storage drives. Look under the GPT column. If your Windows drive has an asterisk mark in that column, it means your system is using the GPT partition scheme. If there's no asterisk, then your system is using MBR. After confirming your partition scheme, close the command prompt and return to Rufus. Select the correct partition scheme, then click Start button, and Rufus will process. You may see a few pop-up windows, click OK on each. Make sure your USB drive is empty, as this process will erase all data. Rufus will then begin creating the bootable USB and copying all the Prime OS files to it. Next, we need to create a partition for Prime OS. To do this, right-click on the Start button and select Disk Management. Once the Disk Management window opens, locate the drive you want to use. Choose the drive on your system that has enough free space. This could be any drive, such as C or D, depending on where you have more storage available. In my case, I'm using the C drive. Right-click on the selected drive and choose Shrink Volume. Enter the amount of space you want to allocate for Prime OS. For example, I'm entering 20 gigabytes here. After that, click Shrink. You'll now see the newly created unallocated space, around 19.53 gigabytes. Right-click on this unallocated space and select New Simple Volume. Then, click Next twice and assign a volume label. I'm naming it Prime, so we can easily identify this partition during the Prime OS installation. After that, click Next, and finally, Finish. After creating the partition, 
Close the disk management window and let Rufus finish the process. Okay guys, USB drive is now ready. Let's close the application and restart your system. After restarting your system, a black screen will appear. Keep pressing the boot key, press F9 for HP, F12 for Dell, or if you are using other brand laptop or computer, then check online for your brand specific key. Once the boot menu screen appear, select your USB drive. After a short moment, the Prime OS installation screen will be displayed. You will see three options. The first option is Prime OS Live, which allows you to run Prime OS without installing it. This lets you explore all its features and check if it works properly on your laptop or desktop, such as testing the hardware, sound, LAN port, and Wi-Fi. If everything works fine, you can proceed with the installation. For this video, we will install Prime OS Select the third option, which is for installing Prime OS, and press Enter to continue. When you reach the partition screen, you will see a list of all your hard disk partitions. Locate and select the one labeled Prime, then press Enter. Next, you'll need to format this partition to the XD4 format. Select XD4 and press Enter. Keep in mind that all data on this partition will be erased, so choose Yes and press Enter to confirm. You will then be prompted to install EFI Grub 2, which is essential for dual booting. Select Yes and press Enter. After that, choose Run Prime OS. Once Prime OS boots, it will guide you through some basic setup steps. Simply follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup process. We've successfully installed Prime OS with dual boot alongside Windows 11. First thing, the first step is to connect it to your Wi-Fi network. Once connected, open the Play Store and sign into your Google account, just like you would on a smartphone. After signing in, you can download and install any apps or games you want. Prime OS functions just like a regular Android system on a smartphone, making it a great way to enjoy Android on your laptop or computer. It's lightweight, fast, and easy to use. After using Prime OS, you can power off or restart and boot back into Windows whenever you want. After restart Prime OS, you will see this type boot screen menu. You'll see a screen with options, Prime OS at the top and your Windows drive with the Windows icon listed below. Simply select Windows and it will start up normally. And that's it for today's video. I hope this tutorial helped you understand how to set up dual boot with Windows and Prime OS. Now you can enjoy both Android and Windows on the same hard drive without needing an extra computer or formatting your system. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.